I've been an architect for 26 years, and yes, it has been always a dream. What drives us is that we find architecture fun. It's that simple. It's a driver that it, it keeps us going to work every day and enjoying the work. You know? The satisfaction that we're not plainly designing a building or a house. We are helping the client to design their dream house. As young as we are, we are doing a 10-story building in Pasay. It's a condo hotel. One exciting project we we're doing right now is a seaweed processing factory in Cebu, in Bantayan Island. Which, although it's industrial, it's exciting for us because uh, the client wants it to be sustainable. Uh, she wants us to use bamboo, uh, upcycle uh, container vans. So although it's industrial, we find it exciting. Uh, usually, one of the considerations are the site, uh, the topography. Of course, the climate, uh, the surrounding environment, uh, if it is cultural or historical, and the budget. We consider also the user's need. Codes as well as um, especially the needs of the client because uh, our clients uh, hire us as architects, designers, uh, because we can help them realize uh, their dreams, their plans, and what makes them much more uh, usable in the sense of requirements with uh, personal and external users. Building codes, the local codes, working with, with government, with getting permits. But it's a given that we take uh, seriously and I think it's for the common good. The codes are there for the common good. And another uh, challenge which we always find is, of course, the budget. Clients would always come to us uh, we want this, we have this list, we want, we want our billing to be nice, but we have a budget or sometimes we really don't have money. <laughs> uh, but we take that as, again, as a driver to, to force our design to be better. As I've heard someone say, uh, a great artist can paint a great picture on a small canvas. So even if the clients don't have uh, a lot of budget, we still strive to make uh, the best architecture that we can provide. They're still modern. Some people are still doing postmodern, and some are doing deconstructive, vernacular, Filipino. And of course, what's, what's in, in vogue right now is sustainable architecture. We see that more green walls, green roofs, uh, solar panels are, are coming. My advice to young architects is to be patient. It really needs patience to be an architect because, uh, well, of course, projects take uh, a long time to, to finish, especially bigger projects, it takes years. I realized that when you're in the course, you get to learn about a little about everything sa iba't ibang fields. So, parang jack of all trees. Because for every project, you have to do a lot of research about the backgrounds of clients and yung needs of project. So, ayan, marami talaga matututunan. It's a continuous learning. Uh, Again, uh, architecture is a, is a profession where the rewards are, are attained much, much later in life. It really takes experience, it really takes time to be good in architecture. So I think young people need to be very patient. <laughs> we are Heart Group, certified home builders, buyers, guide readers.